think we have all learned these last few months that a world without sports is kind of boring. While I've maybe handled it decently well, I know it is the coaches and the athletes in this community that are feeling the impact more than everyone else. Thank you all for joining us for the first and hopefully last virtual version of the Shared and Press Sports Awards. This is a time for us all to come together and celebrate the many accomplishments of the Sheridan County athletes. There are great moments over the year, followed by stories left unfinished and some that were never written. We are happy to host you virtually tonight, so find a comfy seat as we celebrate you, our outstanding Sheridan County athletes. All right, here we go. First Sheridan Press Sports Awards. Do not mess this up, Joel. Welcome to the Sheridan Press Sports Award. No, welcome, 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 welcome. That's it, that's the one. Hello? Is anyone here? Man, I was hoping for some soda and popcorn before the show started. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Hey, thank you for coming, man. Appreciate it. Hey, oh, I'm doing good. Hey, I like that tie. Hello? Anyone here? Where's my podium? Guys? This is the right day. And now we have a special message for you from former Buffalo High School and University of Wyoming Cowboy, Chris Przinski. Przinski is ranked sixth on the University of Wyoming all-time tackles list and played professional football in Jacksonville, Philadelphia, and Chicago. Hey guys, hope you guys are all doing well and uh, staying safe during these crazy and uncertain times. Uh, unfortunately, we all couldn't be together to celebrate all your guys' accomplishments athletically but I'm excited and honored uh, to be able to be a part of this and help recognize you guys for all the hard work you've put in this, this past year. Uh, I have a lot of great memories and experiences from my time playing um, both in college and then seven years in the NFL. But when I really look back at my athletic career, uh, some, of, some of my greatest memories and closest relationships uh, were built right there from my high school career. Uh, there's really nothing as pure as high school sports uh, where you guys get to go compete um, truly for the love of the game. Uh, and you guys get to do it for your teammates, uh, your coaches, your school, uh, your families, and then your community right there in Sheridan. Uh, it's really an experience you don't get in any other level of athletic competition. Uh, for you seniors that had your last year cut short uh, due to this virus, I truly feel for you guys. Uh, unfortunately, some of you guys didn't have the opportunity to get to put on that uniform uh, and compete one last time this spring. Uh, which I know has been really difficult for a lot of you guys. Uh, but just try to take these past four years and all those experiences and reflect and take those memories and relationships that you've built and hold on to them for the rest of your life um, because they truly are special. Uh, for the underclassmen that will be back next year and still have an opportunity to compete in whatever sports you choose, uh, learn from this and realize that, that nothing is ever guaranteed. Uh, don't take the early morning workouts, the practices, the game days, the long road trips, all the hard work. Uh, don't take that for granted because you really don't know when it will end or, or be taken from you. Um, you know, if there's one piece of advice that I'd give you guys that I think is important and something that I've um, helped me during my athletic career and something I even uh, still live by to this day um, would be that there are no shortcuts to becoming successful. 
You know, there's no magic formula. There's no special pill that's just going to bring a success overnight. Uh, as cliche as it might sound, and I'm sure you guys hear it from your teachers, your, your coaches, your parents every day. Um, but truly, the only way to become successful is through hard work. Um, now, it won't always be easy uh, because if that were the case, everybody would be doing it. Um, there's going to be difficult times. There's going to be setbacks. Uh, but the only way to get through those difficult times and setbacks is just put your head down and keep working. Uh, more importantly, you know, work hard and do the right thing when nobody is watching and nobody's having to tell you to do so. Uh, hold yourself accountable to put in the time necessary uh, to achieve whatever goals you guys set forth. And trust me, I truly believe if you guys do this, um, there's no doubt in my mind that you guys will all be successful at whatever you choose to do in life. Um, again, congratulations to all you guys, especially you seniors, for wrapping up a great high school career. Um, thank you guys for letting me be a part of this, and good luck in the future. Uh, be safe, everybody. And with that, we will now get to the show. First up is the nominations for our fall athletes. And the winner of our Girls Golf Award for this year is Sadie Koltiska from Tongue River High School. Koltiska earned All-State honors three times in her career and finished third place at the state golf tournament this year. The 2020 winner for the Boys Golf Award is Nick Summers from Tongue River High School. Summers earned a second place finish in 2019 and was named All-State honors three times in his career. This year's winner of the Girls Cross Country Award is Kaylee Bosick from Tongue River High School. The senior leader for her team, Bosick, helped the Lady Eagles to a fourth place finish at state and earn all state honors by finishing ninth place in the state meet. And now it's time for the award for Boys Cross Country going to Wyatt Osler from Tongue River High School. Osler helped the team to a second place finish at state and placing third in the state meet. And now it's time for some tennis. For the girls tennis award this year, it goes to Ella Laird from Sheridan High School. Laird is the reigning state champion for number two doubles. She avenged her loss in the regional championship and helped the team win the 20, 2019 girls state title. Laird has earned all state honors twice in her career. Now over to boys tennis. This year it goes to Ethan Coots from Sheridan High School. Coots capped his high school career with a third place finish in the number one singles bracket. He has earned all state honors each year in high school, twice in the number two singles bracket and twice in the number one singles bracket. Now we'll transition into the volleyball award. This year the award goes to McKenna Oski from Arvada Clearmont High School. Oski has been a contributor to the Lady Panther Volleyball program for the last four years and was named to the all-conference team in her senior season. And now we go to honor the athletes that competed on the pitch this last fall. For women's soccer, it goes to Elizabeth Pickett from Sheridan College. Pickett earned all Region 9 honors this past season and was one of the top scoring threats for the Lady Generals. For men's soccer, it goes to Marcus Scott from Sheridan College. 
Scott entered his sophomore year at SC as a defensive anchor for the team and provided some offensive production in the 2019 season. And now we move to the gridiron. This year's F Football Player of the Year goes to Garrett Kuhn from Sheridan High School. Kuhn earned All-State honors three times in his career, a feat accomplished by very few in the state. Helping the Bronx reach the state title the last three seasons, Kuhn rushed for 1,589 yards, 37 total touchdowns, and led the Bronx defense with 81 tackles this past season. Now we'll dive on over to the pool to complete the Fall Sports Awards. This year's Girls Swimming Award goes to Zoe Roberson of Sheridan High School. Roberson earned all state honors each year in high school and had multiple top finishes in the state meet during her career, including three titles as a member of the 200 meter relay team. Now we will take a look at the nominees for this year's Winter Sports Awards. Starting in the pool, we have the Boys Swimming Award going to Thomas Yates from Sheridan High School. Yates was one of the two seniors on the team last year and has been a solid swimmer for the Bronx program, reaching the state finals in multiple years. Now we'll honor the athletes competing on the hardwood. For girls basketball, we have Courtney Wallach from Bighorn High School. Wallach earned all state honors her senior year and helped Mentor the younger players on the team. She averaged 13.3 points and 2.7 assists per game this past season. The Boys Basketball Award goes to Sam Lekalot of Sheridan High School. Lekalot's presence was felt all over the court, averaging 18.4 points, 11.3 rebounds per game, along with a block and a steal in each competition. He shot 40% from beyond the arc and 65% from the field. Lekalot earned All-State honors as a sophomore and junior. I guess we'll see how his senior year goes. Now we go to honor the athletes that competed on the mat this last season. The wrestling award goes to Hunter Goodwin of Sheridan High School. Goodwin was a champion of his bracket at the Ronthon and Regional Tournaments on the way to a second place finish at State. He ended the season with 15 losses and 43 good wins. And now we move to the Indoor Track Awards, honoring the athletes that were really good at making a left turn. This year's Boys Indoor Track Award goes to Kyler Osler from Bighorn High School. Osler was the champion in the 55 meter hurdles and helped the Rams to a second place finish in the 4x400 meter relay. The Girls Indoor Track Award raises the bar this year and goes to Elisa Tony from Sheridan High School. Tony placed seventh in the pole vault and was a consistent point earner for the Lady Bronx during the indoor track season. Now we go to the special awards section of our programming and here are the nominees for this year.
The Club Sports Award is one of the new awards to this year's program, and the first winner is Alec Kessler from the Sheridan NA3HL Hawks. Kessler was named Defenseman of the Year for the Frontier Division and was a member of the All-Division team. He scored 14 goals and 33 assists on the season. Another new award this year is honoring the Special Olympic athletes in Sheridan County. This year's winner is Chloe Lawman. Lawman earned three gold medals in cross-country skiing during the state competition this past year. Now we'll honor the top competitor from each athletic season. We decided this year to wait to announce the winners and tell the sports awards. The Fall Female Athlete of the Year goes to Ella Kessner from Sheridan High School. Kessner was a top runner for the Lady Bronx during her freshman season, earning a second place finish at the conference meet, a ninth place finish at the Bozeman Invitational, and second place finishes at the Northern Hills Invitational and the Michelle Lud Ludwig Cross Country Invitational. The Fall Male Athlete of the Year goes to Will Pellisier from Bighorn High School. Pellisier lit up the scoreboard, ending the year with 34 touchdowns after rushing for 1,502 yards and 441 yards receiving, averaging 198 yards of all-purpose offense per game. He led 1A in scoring and was third in all-purpose offense. This year's Winter Female Athlete of the Year is Courtney Wallach from Bighorn High School. Wallach led the Lady Rams on and off the basketball court, setting an example for the underclassmen. After a slow start, the Lady Rams found success in conference play and were in the hunt for a trip to the state tournament. And the Winter Male Athlete of the Year is Brock Bomar from Sheridan High School. Bomar dominated the indoor track scene in Wyoming and delivered at the state meet for the Bronx, earning three individual championships in the 55 meter, 200 meter and 400 meter events and helped the 4 by 400 meter relay team to the title. Bomar and the Bronx captured the 2020 indoor championship, making it back to back titles for the team. And now we will honor the top teams of the year that captured the attention of the community members across the county. And the team of the year is the Sheridan High School Boys Cross Country. This boy band earned the first boys cross country team title in school history, winning multiple meets along the way, including the conference meet hosted in Sheridan. Not only did the team excel in competition, but the joy of being around one another was easy to see, and the seniors did an excellent job of welcoming all runners to the program. Coaches play an important role each season, and this year we honor the coaches who pushed their team to new heights. The Coach of the Year Award goes to Kirk McLaughlin of Bighorn High School Football. McLaughlin has yet to lose a game while head coach of the Rams and has won the past two state titles for football. Along with a 22-0 record, he has built a culture around the program that promotes excellence in athletic performance and character. McLaughlin was a coach for the 2019 Shrine Bowl and was the 2019 1A Coach of the Year. The next three awards honor athletes that made an impact on and off the court, and it was more of their character than their stats, creating the difference. The Sportsmanship Award goes to Zoe Robeson of Sheridan High School. Robeson used her position on the WHSAA Student Advisory Council to implement a new event at the state swim meet, allowing athletes with adaptive needs to compete in the event alongside their teammates. This next award goes to the athlete whose ability in the classroom matched their performance on the field. The winner of the Scholar Athlete Award is Jacob Boynt from Sheridan High School Football. Boynt excelled at making the right decisions on the field and became a leader on the team. Off the field, Boynt takes multiple AP classes, will finish in the top 10 of his graduating class, and posted a ACT score above 30. Every team has a standout athlete, but there are those who put the team needs before their own. The teammate award goes to Izzy Carbert from Tongue River High School. Carbert competed for the volleyball and basketball teams at Tongue River this past season. She was described as the athlete that leads by example and, and is always encouraging. She is not afraid to put the team's needs before her own. The last award 
is one that is held very near and dear to the hearts of us at the Sheridan Press. The award comes with scholarship money from a fund set up in Katie's honor. We are here today to recognize the nominees for the Katie Malin French Be Fierce Award for Perseverance. Let me first congratulate all the nominees who were nominated because they displayed the perseverance similar to what Katie displayed. Katie was a former graduate of Sheridan High School, a graduate of Black Hill State University, a member of the team of the Deadwood Chamber of Commerce, a member of the team of the Sheridan Press, and an amazing, kind, and generous soul. A fund was set up in her name in part to help student athletes continue their academic and athletic careers in college. My name is Wendy Ruby. I'm a former volleyball and basketball coach for Sheridan High School. I was privileged enough to be able to coach Katie throughout her high school career in both volleyball and basketball. Perseverance. Persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Perseverance is not giving up. It is persistence and tenacity, the effort required to do something and keep doing it till the end, even if it's hard. This embodied Katie to a T. Katie was fierce. Fierce on the court, fierce in her job, fierce in life, fierce with the ones she loved. I got to know and love Katie through sports. She was the kind of athlete every coach dreams of. Confident but not cocky, doubted herself just enough to make her want to fight a little harder. She was competitive, she never gave up, and the more you pushed her, the harder she worked and the better she wanted to be. She had tenacity, fire, and grit. Basketball wasn't Katie's favorite sport, but she worked hard at it and was an amazing teammate. I remember one game. I'm sure I'm not sure what grade Katie was in, but she was one of the taller ones on the team, so she got the job of being our big post. She hated that job. Katie was tall, but wasn't built like a typical post, and she knew it. She came out one point in the game and sat next to me and said, Coach, this post is pushing me everywhere. She's bigger than me, she's stronger than me, and I can't box her out. I assured her she could, and I gave her some advice and said, Katie, sharpen your elbows. Get tough. I'll work her. And she did. Katie played her heart out. She rebounded, she boxed out, and she scored against that bigger post. But that's who Katie was. Even with the odds stacked against her, she didn't quit. She didn't pout. She did what needed to be done the best she could, and she persevered. Katie fought the same way in life. When she got sick, unless you really knew her, you wouldn't have known what she was facing. When I'd visit with her, she'd always insist she was fine. And then we'd end up talking more about me than her. She always looked at the bright side. She cared more about others. And she never once complained about her situation. In fact, she always told me she wasn't giving up. Katie was fierce. She kept fighting until the end, even when it was hard. And when it was the hardest for her, she cared the most about making sure others were happy and finding out how everybody else was. She never focused on herself, but that was Katie. She cared so deeply and loved so deeply. If her friends and family were happy, so was she. Katie is amazing. She has left an unbelievable impact on everybody she's ever met. She was fierce. She persevered through the worst of it, and she never gave up. Katie has left us all big shoes to fill, and I know we're all working every moment to do so. You nominees have already taken the first step, so congratulations. And now, here are your nominees for the Katie Malin French Be Fierce Award for Perseverance. The Katie Malin French Be Fierce Award for Perseverance goes to Dane Bear Don't Walk from Tongue River High School. Jordan Frank and Ryan Sessions will also receive scholarship money donated in the honor of Katie Malin French. Dane Bear Don't Walk is receiving the award after an up and down senior season. Dane's football season was cut short due to an injury and during basketball Multiple injuries left him sidelined at different points in the season. In the fall, Dane also had to go through the loss of his grandma, his biggest supporter, and a person he could always count on to be in the stands cheering him on. Through it all, Dane remained a part of his team and was always there for his teammates. 
Thank you all for joining us this year for the first and hopefully last ever virtual Sheridan Press Sports Awards. I hope next year we can all meet in person once again to share in the many accomplishments of the athletes here in Sheridan County. These last few months for me have been rough. Life without sports is not very much fun, and especially when it's being around all the amazing coaches and athletes that are here in Sheridan County. This county is truly blessed to have all the amazing coaches and athletes that have competed here. And now to end everything, we have Quinn McCafferty to leave us with some final words. I'm Quinn McCafferty from Bighorn High School, and I'd like to thank my coaches, my community, and most of all, my teammates for making the last four years of sports a blast. First of all, I'd like to thank my dad and Sam Morton as my flag football coaches, all the way up through coaches Daly, St. John, Brantz, McLaughlin, Markier, and Phillips. Thanks for spending countless hours away from your families to help make our teams as successful as possible. Next, I'd like to th thank the community as their support's never in question. Our, our buses are always loaded with snacks and our stands are always loud. It's been a pleasure to represent the school and community of Bighorn. Lastly, I'd like to thank my teammates, every one of them. They've given me countless memories that I can hang on to and cherish forever. But it's not only Bighorn that's got a great community. From my baseball days, I've gotten to know and become great friends with kids from Sheridan and Tongue River. As great people as they are, they're just a reflection of their communities as well. And I'm really thankful and proud to be a part of this awesome place here in Sheridan County.